All right, guys, how's it going? No rest for the wicked. We're here again. Uh, Roberto De Zerbi has been speaking about his future today, and I know that you will want to know what he's been saying, right? Now, uh, I know you're probably thinking about this, what's this behind me? It, I listen to music when I'm working or streaming, and like, you know, I, I can't play this at the same time because YouTube will tell me off, right? So it's not like a fancy image. I don't sit in my lounge like that, like, looking at that. All right. Um, so De Zerbi's been speaking today, um, and there's different versions of this. We're going to go with the Sky Sports version, right? Because it's more detailed and it's got context. Um, and then we're going to look at what Fabrizio Romano, Mo Salah, what he had to say, and also Ben Jacobs, just to see if you can pick up a little difference, right? So, because you might have only seen Romano's, for example. Sky Sports, uh, the Zerbi, asked if he could reassure Brighton fans that he will be at the club next season. He replied, I have a different way to decide my future. I want to speak with my club. I have a contract, but the problem is not the contract. The problem is to find the same plan, the same target, the same vision for the future. For me, I have not decided yet what is my future because I have the contract. But anyway, I want to speak with Tony. That's the owner or chairman or whatever. My club, to, under, to, to speak with Tony, my club, to understand their plan, to understand his plan, the Tony plan. Then we take the decision together without problems. My relationship with my players, my fans, I think it can't change depending on the future. What we did is history and we can't forget it. The future, I want to keep my ambition, my motivation. I live for football 24 hours a day. I want to know what is the plan. What is the project? What is the future? Because if I don't feel comfortable, I don't feel the right motivation, I can't stay any longer. He was then asked if he would sign a new contract at Brighton and he replied at the moment, no. We didn't find the agreement. The contract is a part of the future. It's important for me. It's important for everyone, but it's a small part. The big part is the plan. We have to speak with the club. So those are his quotes. Now, some of them quotes, uh, sorry, those quotes. No, let me just rephrase this because I, I like to be very specific. Fabrizio Romano took to Twitter, right? And said the following. He took a little bit from, the, from all of that. And... Um, Romano said, signing a new deal at Brighton at the moment, no. I need to speak to Tony Bloom about the plan for the club in order to decide my future. I want to know what is the project. I want to keep my ambition. That's all Romano put out, or that's all I saw from Romano. And I think that version sparked a few Liverpool fans because they've been messaging me saying, oh, no, he's sounding more and more like De Zerbi. He's refusing to commit to Brighton. But you've got to remember that De Zerbi is linked with other clubs as well, right? Uh, so don't flap. A slightly different version was put out by Ben Jacobs. I have no time for this journalist. I don't, don't pay any attention to him. The only reason I'm reading this to you is so you can see how things can be a little bit different. Uh, and he's, again, we've had that whole version of quotes and he's picked a little bit out. Um, and Ben Jacobs said, Roberto De Zerbi, when asked if he could sign a new contract at Brighton, at the moment, no, we haven't found an agreement. I want to know what the plan, projects and future is because if I don't feel comfortable, and have the right motivation, I can't stay any longer. So he's, he's including he can't stay any longer. Uh, Fabrizio left that bit out. So you need to focus on the Sky Sports version, right, I think. What does this mean, Duncan? Why are you, why are you recording this video? Well, I'm recording this video because I know for a fact that some Liverpool fans are going to hear because they've already heard that De Zerbi is refusing to sign or, you know, he's not committing or, or he can't commit to Brighton at the moment, which is going to, some fans are going to think that's a sign he's coming to Liverpool or something like that. And I don't think it is. You're Roberto De Zerbi, you're being linked with some of the biggest clubs in Europe. You know, uh, God knows why. I don't know why, to be honest. But I've been reading some of the, the, uh, the you know, his fans reading, you know, the, replying to these co uh, those comments and they're like, what the fuck, man? He should have been gone ages ago. So, they don't sound like they're too bothered, to be honest with you. I don't, you, know, you can't judge an entire fan base on, you know, especially Twitter. Um, but if you're Roberto De Zerbi, you aren't going to be signing a contract right now, are you? You're thinking to yourself, fucking hell, I might get Liverpool job. So you're not going to do anything, are you? You might end up at Barcelona. Barcelona or Brighton. Oh, it's not. You know what I mean? So um, I wouldn't take anything from it. It just sounds like a man manager that's being honest and that is basically saying, yeah, it's not about the, the uh, you know, if a contract's lucrative or about it. That's what it sounds like to me. He's not saying, you know, it depends what they're going to pay me. He's saying it's about the plan. Maybe he doesn't feel that club are um, as ambitious as he is or he would like to be. Could he be better, a better manager 
with you know additional backing and things like that so reason for the video is i know this evening that when i do my live stream people are going to come on the live stream if they haven't seen this video and they're going to say dunk uh, deserve he, uh, he wasn't able to commit to brighton today when asked do you know what i mean so just be aware of that that's where those uh, quotes have come from and again on social media they're only giving you like a little you know a couple of sentences or something you should always try and um and, and find the, the source, the, the origin of that where possible. Because someone posting on Twitter, they can make it sound very differently. They can leave bits out and all that. You know what I mean? All right, that's it. If you appreciate the video, please do a thumbs up this uh, video. Please leave me a comment. Uh, and uh, if you want to buy me a beer, because it's Saturday night, uh, then hit the super thanks button. What's it? Yeah, it is a super thanks button, isn't it? Uh, but if you're a Muslim, don't worry, guys. I'm with you. Peace be upon him, right? Peace be upon me. I'll have a coffee instead. I'll have it tomorrow morning when I need it. All right, guys. Uh, please read the video description. Join my, my newsletter. Join, um, you know, join me on social media. I want more people to follow me, really, on my personal social media. I don't really talk a lot about football on my uh, my Twitter account, at Duncan Oldham, for example. But I like to interact with people that, you know, appreciate my content. And Liverpool fans, obviously, you know. I just don't go on there and talk about football all fucking day long. Um... At Instagram, at Duncan Oldham as well. You know, I, I like people to um, to walk with me. There you go. All right, we're going to be live on here uh, in a few hours. We're going to do Saturday night steaming, streaming, streaming. Uh, we're going to have a few sherbets, listen to some tunes tonight. And um, unfortunately, we will be using a private server. It's available to everybody, um, but it can be a little bit complicated for people that might not understand what to do. So you have to read the, the video description when we're live um you will you can go in the chat room and ask people what to do if you need help basically you've got to open it's better if you've got two devices that's amazing a tablet and a mobile phone you're laughing or, or a laptop and a mobile phone whatever but if you can't do that you can do it on one device you just got to go over to cop talk dot party pop the play hit play pop the video out drag and then go to youtube for the chat Drag the video on your phone and, and match it up. It, it can be done. I know some of you go, it doesn't work. It does because we have people in there every week. So, but if you struggle uh, or need a little bit of help, then please just ask in the, the chat. We have to do it that way because with the audio uh, behind us, oh, I did something wrong. I don't know, I think I broke it now. Um, with the audio behind us, you know you'll get into trouble on uh, on YouTube. Open YouTube. There we go. Do you know what I mean? So we, we gotta we gotta um, we gotta do it. Just listen, trust me. If I could just do it on here, I'd do it on here. Uh, but we have to do it, otherwise YouTube tell us off. Uh, and tonight we're going to be playing a few country songs tonight when we've had a few sherbets because Matthew Beale is going to be around and uh, he sent me a list of some songs. And we're going to play them tonight. So, uh, yeah, you'll work it out, guys. Uh, thanks uh, for watching. Do leave me a comment uh, and we'll speak real soon, I hope.